I want to get right into it with you. So last night we had an event. I heard a lot of amazing things. I have three to four pages of notes. And one of the things that you were mentioning was uh, today with respects to, you know, what's going on in our culture, in our society. When I say our culture, North America, Canada is this, Canada's worse, in my opinion, what's going on there. Mm-hmm. But something that's trending and you go around all these shops, you go to Fashion Island, you go to these malls, they're almost at every store. And that's these displays with the Barbie movie. Everybody's so interested in the Barbie movie. Uh, you know, my wife just got an invite from one of her friends to all dress up and get together and watch. And she said no right away. Mm-hmm. And I just, I'm curious. I want to know your thoughts. I heard what you had to say last night. I want to know your well, thoughts. you know, Matt, I, uh, I have an 11-year-old granddaughter. And she said, Grandpa, you know, I want to go see the Barbie movie. And honestly, the marketing for the movie has been terrific. You've got to give the studio credit. And they marketed to moms and their daughters, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old. I think, I think the age group for Barbie was like between five and 12 year old young girls, right? And so they did a great job marketing. I had my doubts. I didn't really look into it, but I said, hey, it's Barbie, what the heck? So um, we go and see the movie. And, you know, it, it, first of all, it wasn't for my granddaughter. It's not for five to 11 year old kids. Mm. It was a statement by a feminist writer and a feminist director on just really how inferior men are. And it was, it was all about that. And, you know, I'm going to do a review on it, but just prior to that, I can tell you my feeling. As far as, as the movie itself, as a movie, it was so just disjointed. You didn't really even understand the plot. The script was, was not well written. But aside from that, it was more of the same old feminist stuff to make men look like bigots and idiots. Uh, I have to use that word. Mm-hmm. And it was very disappointing, you know. And, you know, just to show you, my 11-year-old granddaughter, she wasn't thrilled with the movie. You know, and you would expect her to be. She wasn't thrilled with it. So I, I'm going to do a review on it. And it's not going to be very complimentary to the film or to what's going on. But, you know, the greater, uh, you were there last night. And just for your audience, it was an event. I, it was a big men's event, and I delivered a message about what it is to be a man in 2023, and the qualities of leadership that men should have. First, you got to be a man, and then you got to have leadership qualities. So we talked about it last night. I think it was received very well. So you know, 500 plus men there, and um, you know, it's the it's the problem that we're having here in America that men's role in society has been really dumbed down. And we have to stand up. There's a lot of difficult things going on. We have a lot of issues in this country and men have to stand up, you know, men of faith, Christian men. Um, and that was uh, basically what that whole thing was about last night and what I've been all about. And, um, you know, hopefully it's, it's catching on. We see some transition happening here. Men are starting to stand up. The good kind of transition. Yes. And you know, Matthew, the, the, the important thing is, and this is for all the ladies, um, I have a wife. We're married 38 years. I have five daughters. I have uh, two granddaughters. Um, and I have a lot of respect for my wife and daughters, obviously, and, and, and the women in my life. And when you're teaching a man or encouraging a man to have the qualities and traits and character that a man should have, you're benefiting women and children in a big way. And women need to understand. I think most women do. Um, But it's been, you know, delivered the message in our society that if you act like a man, it's demeaning to women. And, uh, you know, they have this term now that, you know, toxic masculinity, which I totally disagree with because toxic behavior is toxic behavior. Whether you're a man, woman, child, animal, it's bad behavior. And it shouldn't be only for men, you know. Um, So we're trying to dispel that myth, trying to encourage men to just stand up and be men, have the proper character. And, uh, and hopefully it's catching on. Yeah, that was, that was going to be my next point. The whole idea of like toxic masculinity, toxic feminism. And I've heard people talk about these subjects and they get a lot of heat. And I think sometimes people do it so they can get the clicks and the views. Mm-hmm. But you said it, you hit the nail right on the head. Any kind of behavior that's bad behavior is toxic. 